Today, we are looking at using dry brush in watercolour. I'm going to mix the first of the two washes, which is cadmium yellow. When we talk about dry brush, the brush is never actually dry, but the key is to have just the right amount of paint on the brush to create a confident effect. This is also combined with the pressure and speed of the stroke. Essentially, it's a fast light stroke. As we paint, the marks become increasingly lighter as there is less paint on the brush. It may not be obvious, but my work surface here is tilted at about 30 degrees. Now that the first wash is dry, I'm going to add a second darker blue wash. As with all watercolour work, I'm working from a lighter tone to a darker tone. Even though the first wash has dried, the paper underneath is still slightly damp and swollen. So when I add a second darker wash with the same stroke, it's possible to replicate the brush stroke. So the paint, the paper and the brush are doing most of the work for you. You can see the paint does not only mix to create new colours, but does not touch these white areas at all. So you have the pure colours, yellow and blue, plus the green tones and the contrast of everything against the white. You can use this technique in conjunction with others to diversify your mark making. As your technique grows, you'll be able to achieve a whole range of dry brush effects. Thank you for watching.